What's up guys? How's everyone doing? Already got my hands dirty. Thanks for tuning back in. Um, I've got a couple of new things, a couple of surprises today. And then I noticed the last video I did, you couldn't actually see me potting up these plants. So for this last group of seedlings I got that I'm actually going to plant together, I'm going to make sure you guys can see it. So I'll push you down low. So I've got two specific things on the agenda. <clears throat> One of them is kind of never a never before seen item that I've talked about that I haven't spoken on, but I have been dabbling in this for years. Um, so keep watching to find out what that is. And then um, let's just get started. We'll do the up potting of the dropped kava seeds, but I want you to be able to see it. <clears throat> so here we go. How are we gonna do this? Okay, last time I had you right here, you couldn't see it. So let's try and put you guys like down. Hold on. Stand by. Stand by. Here we go, this is what we'll do. Kind of an unflattering angle. Can't see my face, but you can see my hands. So hopefully you can see what's about to be going on here. So it's always good to get something to drop the dirt in. So we're gonna be putting them into this pot right here. I get my flat. Try and do it in front of you guys. So here's the flat of Javos. Here's one I wanna take. Kind of wiggle it. This one's got a long tap root on it. Came out nicely, so that's how you. Oh, be gentle. That's gonna be the first one. Get the second. Get this one out. And if no one has ever noticed, um, right here, I actually. I have a tattoo of a Jabba Takaba, so <clears throat> you know I'm pretty serious about the plants. I will eventually do a, probably a whole video about my tattoo and backstory behind it and stuff. Um, really haven't gotten that personal yet, but I mean, it is really not that personal. <laughs> It's just, I love Jabba the Cubs, so I got a Jabba the Cubs one too. I just got dirt on my head. Nice and dirty out here. Okay, last one. Nice specimen. Double. Lots of them are double like that. So, alright. As you can see, we're planting them all together in here. Um, now that I have them all in, I'm just going to take this soil and... Backfill, I call it backfilling, like I was saying, you just kind of put soil all in and around all the plants. Make sure everything's standing upright. And then push it all down. Alright, then you're done. Planted a group of Jabos all together. Probably took me about two minutes. That's like one, two, three, eh, four, five, about six plants, but kind of the runts of the litter. So I planted, I uh, just wanted to put them all together. It's not going to hurt them. Uh, I'll show you some examples of group plantings in just a second here, but here's the uh, special surprise right here and um, 
this here is a type of native I'm pretty sure it's a birch species and yeah it's a native birch now I'm going to be making it into a bonsai I'm just I've had it for about a year in a pot trying to let the base get bigger now I'm going to be taking all the excess clay and soil off the root system placing it into its bonsai training pot which is this see all the holes this is a serious bonsai training draining pot it's gonna have a lot of aeration it's super it's not too shallow but it's shallow enough to train those roots so after you get it all taken out gotta find out how you want to orientate it i'm thinking i'm wanting to do something like this where it's laying down and kind of coming out of the back there i don't want to ever really force anything with the bonsai I don't like to wire them or anything, uh, I just don't have the time. So I just kind of do a natural take. This is kind of what it's seeming like it's wanting to do. So we'll lay it down like that. We're actually going to mix this up, the soil up a little bit with some fresh soil and then just put the same stuff right back in because it seems to be enjoying it. All right. Now, before we do that, let's take this bonsai down, trim it up a little bit. These clippers I got from my dad in the mail. Uh, unfortunately, we don't we don't live that close. So, well, we don't live close at all. So he mails me some garden gifts sometimes. I really like these little snips. Take a little cover off it and then you just push these up or push this down snips open spring loaded so we're going to do some uh, snipping here so with bonsai I like to just it's got a lot of excess growth it's got about three feet of excess growth up here I'm going to take it straight back to here and then I kind of tied this up. I don't know what I was going for. I think I was just kind of testing like the durability of the tree, kind of making it go through some stress, making sure it can handle being a bonsai. I'll cut that off, cut this off, and completely defoliate it. So this is, um, Bonza is going to be going through a little bit of shock. We'll take this one down to here, down to here, and down to here. So now we got a nice little bonsai here. Close back the clippers. Backfill this up. See, the reason I went with um, using the same dirt that it, came, that it uh, was in previously is not only because it'll be less of a shock to it since I just had to kind of reform its whole root ball also the dirt that it came from has a little bit of clay in it and it's going to help to kind of mold and keep this keep this plant down and situated because if you know bonsai, you know that um, they will fall over sometimes or fall out of the pot just because they can get top heavy. So I'm packing this thing in real nice, making sure it's all even. We are going to keep it in the greenhouse for recovery. Then we'll move it back outside full time. It is full time outside. 
it's a deciduous tree but i like to do deciduous bonsai so here's what we got nothing special just a training pot for this guy um i could and i might do like some sort of well, I don't know the final plans. I might wire this back to get more of a taper in the trunk and get it straight. Or I could leave it down and wire it, like pull it down like this. Get it eventually to be like a drooping bonsai like this over the side of a pot. Well, that's why they call these training pots. It's just kind of uh, first years of a bonsai, just getting it. Getting it used to being in a shallow pot, wide base roof system, and then finding out what type of style of bonsai you're going to do. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, like I said in a previous video, every plant in a pot technically is a bonsai because bonsai is just the um, Japanese word for plant in a pot. So, okay, now I've taken, I've up-potted all my Jabos now into bigger pots. So that's great. Keeping the greenhouse clean here. I'll water everything else. I'll show you guys. Flip the camera around real quick. Hold on. Alright. So that's what we just up-potted. Looking a little raggedy, but they'll bounce back. I'll show you an example of when I, when I group planted something like that. What this is going to turn into is this. This is a group of reds. Um, so they grow really well close together like this. This is a group of whites also growing well. This is a single white Jabba Chabba not really growing as well. Um, this is a red that is a standalone growing really well so they'll grow well both ways this is a white java de cabo growing good by itself they'll grow good both ways but this is a grimmel that it almost looks like a eugenia but the thing with plants is a lot of people think they will compete i wanted to mention this in the root systems they will not really compete unless it's a like totally different species but if it's the same species like these are all red jabos they'll talk to each other for, through the root system and share nutrients and stuff and all trees will do this really look i just found a little weed trying to sneak its way in there you see that sneak attack get that bad boy out of there so um that's just something to think about here's all the little ones that we planted up last time here's this little uh, cute one that I was fond of this little cool pot my mother-in-law gave me this like I said anyone buying like little plants and stuff I always get the the pots even if it's a fake plant I'll sometimes take the uh, you know I'll get the little plastic pot any way I can I love them so yeah this is all the ones I just uh, potted, they're obviously not looking great, but they're going to be looking like this very shortly. And this, they'll bounce right back and they'll be uh, happy to be up potted. Although that reminds me, I need to uh, fertilize them. They need to be fertilized as soon as they're up potted. So yeah, wow, can't believe. Yeah, that's the one thing about Java to but don't forget about your fertilizer. Any other plant, you can kind of forget about your fertilizer. You got good soil, but not these guys. I got to go throw that on there right now. So yeah, we'll cut this video right now. Um, here's some of that stuff I was showing you that my family friend Natalie sent me the uh, house plants, the exotic house plants. Oh. I think this might have been one that I just ripped up and threw away. Well, it looks like it's dying anyways, but here's some that made it. Like, this guy's looking good. There's some rotting material in there. But yeah, some, some things are looking... This guy's looking good. I don't know what that is. That's looking pretty good back there. I kind of just stuck all these in the aquarium. 
Yeah, some of them are looking great. Okay, well, everyone have a great night. Please subscribe if you want to see more um, plant stuff, plant related videos, bonsai videos, anything like that. So hit the subscribe button. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.